Hello, and welcome to another segment of Two Minutes with Jim here on Heavenward Thinking. Today, I want to challenge you about being lukewarm, and instead of being lukewarm, being on fire for Jesus. So we're going to look at Revelation chapter 3, starting in verse 14. To the angel of the church in Laodicea, right? These are the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are a lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. And then jumping down to verse 19, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. So here in Revelation chapter 3, we have a a brief synopsis showing what happens when people are lukewarm. Jesus makes it very clear here that he is not pleased with the church when we are lukewarm as Christians, when we're not doing something on fire for Jesus, when we're uh, allowing the world to compromise uh, who we are as Christians, when we're not really living set apart for Jesus, when we're allowing the world to get us off track and we're trying to mix a little bit of Christianity with a little bit of the world, that's when we get lukewarm and we're not really on fire all in for Jesus. And here at Heaven, we're thinking, we want to get you focused on Jesus and get you on fire for Jesus and equip you with the resources to be on fire with Jesus. We want you to have an authentic faith, not compromised with the world, not lukewarm. We want you to be hot and on fire for Jesus. So I would encourage you this week, think of ways that you can be on fire for Jesus. Think of ways that you can look at your life and see, am I being lukewarm in this situation? Am I really not giving it my all? Am I just kind of going through the motions of church and playing church and and showing up on Sundays and just doing that? Or am I really getting all in for Jesus? And if you're not, I would encourage you to really start being on fire, not lukewarm, not at all lukewarm, but being on fire for Jesus. So I would encourage you to do that this week and then to pray about it and see how the Lord is leading you forward to be on fire for him as a Christian. Join us next time for another segment of Two Minutes with Tim here at Heavenward Thinking.